Hi, and thanks for tuning in today. I would like to quickly review how to save a document as a confidential note type. This function is important because as clinicians, sometimes we encounter information during an office visit that is sensitive in nature and should not be printed during a routine records release request. It should be noted, however, that confidential notes can be viewed by other clinic personnel so that any information collected during care coordination is not left out. It is also important to note that confidential clinic notes should be treated as special note types and should by no means be the default for any provider. Behavioral health therapists have a special confidential behavioral health document type, which has many more restrictions on who can view that note. Behavioral health personnel should refer to the video lesson on how to create those special document types. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please remember to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any important HCA Cerner tips going forward. With that, let's get started. In essence, a confidential clinic note is a note type that on the surface is very much like any other note type, but will not be printed during records requests initiated by the patient. Records can be sent out to other providers to coordinate care. If you are using acute workflow, you can choose Select Other Note to navigate to the Documentation dialog window and transfer text from your acute workflow environment. You can also select Physician Documentation, followed by the plus add to create a new note from scratch if necessary. It's important to remember that standard provider documentation in Cerner is broken down into two components. First, there is the document template or how the note will look. You have several choices from office visit note to progress note to free text note, consult note, and etc. Remember, you can limit a longer list to your personal favorites that you use most by clicking the star next to the template you wish to use and select the favorites tab above. The system will remember that you are on the favorites tab and each time you return to this page, you will default to your favorites rather than the larger list. Next, you have the document type, which essentially is how the note is filed. This is the office clinic note, procedure note, progress note, physician, etc. There are literally hundreds of document types, and so it is important to pare the list down to just the few documents that you are likely to use. The document type filter allows you to select from the entire list or to a list created internally by position or personal list. If you haven't seen my video on how to create a personal list, please see the comments section below for a link. If you haven't had time to create a personal list, you can select confidential clinic note from either the all list filter or the position type filter. Simply click the drop list and type the letter C to navigate closer to the right document type if the list is a very large list. Once you select the confidential clinic note type, you can select your template, decide on a unique name for your note or not, and click OK in the bottom right corner to open the note. Remember that if you start a note under one document type, you may still change the document type or any other note attribute in the dialog box that, that appears when you click the Sign Submit button.
if you created a note that has information that you absolutely don't want printed on records release, you can modify the note attributes of any signed note. Please check the comments section for a link to the video that shows you how to do this. Once you have completed your note, you simply sign, submit, and the note will be filed in the right location. This concludes the lesson on how to create a confidential clinic note type. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and to receive updates as new videos are created. Thank you and see you next time.